Well, Vicki Rick, on day six of the Brett Hankison trial, prosecutors called former witnesses to the stand. Among them was Kenneth Walker, Breonna Taylor's boyfriend, who testified that he and Taylor were terrified inside the apartment as the deadly raid happened. Now, Hankison is facing civil rights violations related to that March 2020 raid. And after nearly three hours on the witness stand, today we learned that when police banged loud and aggressively on Taylor's door, according to Kenneth Walker, he believed it was her ex-boyfriend. He did not explicitly say Jamarcus Glover's name, but Glover was the target of LMPD's drug investigation that led authorities to Taylor's door in the first place. Walker said he thought an ex of Taylor's unexpectedly showed up upset and was trying to break in. He testified this led him to fire a warning gunshot to try and scare them off, which led police to return fire that he described as sounding like a war. He then kicked the gun under the bed, called his mom, Taylor's mom, and 911 dispatchers who told him to surrender outside. Now Walker was arrested for that shooting in which a bullet hit an officer, but those charges were later dropped. The testimony continued today with photos of Taylor's body lying in the hallway, which jurors were shown. They were also shown footage of Walker's arrest and heard his 911 call, which he became emotional about as it played in court. And Walker was also questioned about Jamarcus Glover, who he denied knowing at the time. Now, prosecutors also called two LMPD sergeants to the stand, one who testified about his investigation of the scene at Taylor's apartment that night. And he also reiterated that officers are not trained to shoot blindly at a target. And we also heard from a firearms expert who said that the shell casings found inside of Taylor's apartment did match the gun that Hankison fired that night. Now, the trial, which is expected to last a month, will resume tomorrow morning at 1030 for day seven. At the federal courthouse for you tonight, I'm Alexis Matthews, WOKY News. Thank